video and guys thank you so much for being there for me and i don't know <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing like and leaving a comment below and many people have reached out and asked me a lot of questions and i apparently tried to follow up some stuffs and i wanted to talk about the real uh, procedure back home and i thought sorry i thought it would be nice if i give you some updates that's really happening down there back home at the moment i cannot say much about other people i can only follow up uh, from my country which is kenya and um i'll try to follow up also for the other people uh, the countries if i can i'll always update you guys so i was I was able to get some information about the current procedure of uh, how to get uh, way any um, to get your way here and guys at the moment the procedure is really lengthful it's a long procedure due to the COVID situation and uh, okay don't mind me I have the you know me I always have my notes down here I always try and do good for you guys so before i continue don't forget to like comment and and uh, subscribe and please share tell a friend to tell a friend and let's grow guys thank you so much and if you're new i love you guys and you've always been here manze i love you all so let me go straight to the point so the length uh, the procedure right now is so lengthful is really uh, due to covid uh, restriction they're really taking things so serious and due to this uh, what is this called uh, upcoming world cup for qatar so they're kind of trying to be careful not to get also like uh, lockdown and all that so they're kind of taking things so serious so please when you want to come here try and get an agent who is certified because right now things are getting so worse you're getting conned and people are trying to get advantage from you guys and lie to you and you end up getting conned and your money get lost so what is required you require a passport as always definitely if you're going to another country definitely you need a passport and um, and a good conduct and about the good conduct uh, it must be taken to ministry of affairs foreign affairs in kenya so once you get your your, your good conduct it must be taken to, through ministry of affairs foreign affairs in kenya uh, to be tested and that costs 200 kenya shillings and mostly they, this is the agent who does this um, just to get any how will i say just to be checked it's a must it has to go through that process it costs 200 shillings then you have to give your agent to take the um what is this called the good conduct after it has been attested to the embassy of which the country you want to go to to be attested again which takes three days or a week or something so once the the agent has already uh, gotten the feedback from the embassy that you want to go to, like if you're coming to Qatar, the the good conduct has already been attested and it's a green green light. Uh, the agent is ready to give to the employer here in Qatar. So after it has already been uh, attested uh, in the embassy, he can now go and forward it to the employer here in Qatar. And after that, by the way, guys, you have to be vaccinated. So you have to, before you do anything, you have to be vaccinated. And uh, by the way, it's like a plus 
once you're vaccinated, things are really like good for you. It really goes so fast. So vaccination is a must and it kind of uh, makes the process fast. The other thing, the thing uh, for the employer needs from you, uh, the vaccinated, uh, your CV, and a good conduct. There are three things that the employer will need is the vaccination uh, proof and then your CV and then a good conduct. Guys, about your CV, obviously right now even you don't make it, it's your agent who they do have those um, samples of CVs. They only ask for your passport and a full pic, not yeah, for your passport and then you're kind of uh, photoshopped in a body and all that stuff, you know? Yeah, so they do all for you. But if you're really looking for a better job or something, you will make your own CV or something. So all the employer needs is just uh, vaccination proof, your CV and your good conduct. After that, if everything is perfect, you have to go for a medical test when you're back in Kenya or anywhere else. You have to give a vaccinate, uh, medical test and mostly they have a specific branches you have to go to and uh, you get tested. I think at the moment it is 15K or 3,000. I'm not sure, but I guess it's around that range. So after that, when everything is perfectly done, your CV is checked, your vaccination check, your good conduct check, and your medical uh, medical test is perfect and all is green to go. Now, you 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 uh, the employee from uh, from here Qatar will uh, will uh, apply for your visa. You get everything and then you get your flight. Obviously, when you get your flight, 24 hours before you have to do your P, is it? Wait a minute, it's a PSTV, PCR test, 24 hours before. And after that, you're welcome to Qatar. So guys, just know, right now, things are hard. Things are getting so long, lengthful because of the COVID and due, it's due to the uh, World Cup. And if you, you're really lucky, you can get an easy, easy way in. So, yeah. So, don't forget, please, before you go and get your agent, try and figure out if that person is really legit. Because, guys, people are getting conned and your money can just go. Okay? So... Further ado, that's all I wanted to notify you guys. And yeah, I really hope you guys can come here, at least better your life. And it's not the only place, guys, you can get your way. Also, the other countries you can go, like Canada, like Germany, like Dubai, and all that stuff. If you're lucky, all the best, guys. I love you all and take care. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. I love you all. Mwah. Ciao, ciao.